my other videos, you've heard me talk about miracle paint. And if you're anything like me, if you hear the word miracle paint, right away the red flags go up and you're probably a little suspicious. I kind of liken it to, to snake oil. Oh man, you know, that can't work. It's, it's just too good to be true. But let me tell you, after using this product for the past eight years on a number of different rust repairs on a number of different cars, I am a true believer. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick overview of how I use the product and how I can apply it to rust repair, primarily rust repair underneath the car. Uh, let's move in close and I'll show you some samples. This piece is an example of what I call some pretty extreme rust repair. You can note here that the rust is scaly and significant, but once I start coating it with Miracle Paint, there's a real strong bond between that and the metal itself. The other interesting thing about Miracle Paint is it responds very well when used with fiberglass cloth, almost as well or even better than some types of epoxies. Look here how I've used multiple layers to build up not only strength, but to repair the cosmetic aspect of the rust out. If I need backup behind the fiberglass cloth because the hole's too large, I sometimes use a piece of thin aluminum and can attach it with either a sheet metal screws or pop rivets. And then at that point, I can cover that over with fiberglass cloth. Watch the progression here. I go from rust to coated to a slight amount of fiberglass buildup. I add additional layers here. And as I build up, I, I've gone to three or four layers of fiberglass. And then I can coat it with fiberglass resin filler and finally seal it with a body undercoating material. Look at the strength here. This is almost as strong as the original metal. And finally, when this is exposed to moisture in the future, the rust will not come back. Understanding some of the key properties of Miracle Paint will help you work with it successfully. Number one, it has an amazing adhesion ability. It sticks to anything and it doesn't come off once it's dry and then including your skin. If you note here, I've used saran wrap at the base of the lid. If I didn't do that, I wouldn't even be able to get the lid off this can once I've used the product. Opening up the can, you'll find that Miracle Paint the Miracle Paint we sell is very thick and I use brushes and I use old brushes to throw away because once again you just can't clean them. You see the thickness and consistency of this product? It's similar in some ways to POR15 or POR15 but I found it's a better product, it has better adhesion and the consistency holds better to fiberglass cloth. Now let's talk a little bit more about using fiberglass with the paint itself. When working with areas of severe rust, I use three types of fiberglass cloth. The first type here is fiberglass mesh, and it's very stiff, tightly woven, and I use this on flat surfaces. The second type you see here is fiberglass cloth, and it's on a bias and very flexible. I prefer to use this when I have to work around a corner or on curved surfaces. And then finally, I use a very fine cloth. This is for fine work around very small holes or when I'm trying to just beef up some weak metal. On some repairs, I may even mix and match these different types of fiberglass. To coat them, you'll need a surface that you can work on that you can throw away. I use a sealed cardboard and just work the Miracle Paint into the cloth and then flip it over and work the back side. I can actually let this sit for a few minutes while I'm coating the rusty metal before I apply it. If you note here, using the cloth, it'll absorb the Miracle Paint even a little faster. And I may not even need to uh, move it over to the back side because it flows through so quickly. I can apply that on top of that piece. Now I can take the fine cloth, I don't even need to coat this because it will absorb the Miracle Paint once I put it in place. Notice, you must wear gloves all the time when working with this product. Finally, I can add an additional coat here. 
and it's ready to apply. And let me tell you, using multiple layers like this and letting it harden will create strength similar to thin metal itself. Now that's what the patch looks like. It's going to take uh, at least four to five hours before it hardens and a full 24 hours before it is dry. Uh, and so now I've created quite a mess for myself and I have to be very careful that I don't touch anything before I get these gloves off. I've used this product over the years to, to repair all kinds of rust. I'm currently fixing my 6.9 and I'm going to show you a couple shots here of uh, some of the rust repair we're doing underneath the car using Miracle Paint. I've repaired battery boxes, I fixed um, mufflers that have holes in them, pipes that have holes. It's a great product for just coating underneath the car and sealing any type of surface rust, which may create a problem in the future. So I would encourage you to look at using this product yourself. You can visit my website. I have a complete manual that I've written on how to use this product in detail, along with numerous kits. Just go to www.mercedesource.com and put Miracle Paint in the search box.